Welcome to the fourth and final part of the four-part College Nights presentation. In this fourth section of College Nights, we will talk about scholarships, what to do, and scams to watch out for. Scholarships are awards that are considered free money that does not require repayment. Many different types of scholarships are based on grades, sports, nationality, and many qualities too numerous to mention. You will need to actively look for scholarships. Even if you're a great student, chances are you need to do some research to find scholarships as they are unlikely to find you. While a super grade point average and a strong resume or great athletic talent are helpful in getting scholarships, being a regular student may also qualify you for a scholarship. Here are a few things to ask yourself. Is your GPA offset by a strong focus on a particular talent, skill, or volunteer activity? Do you have great ideas of what you want to do with your life? Are you in need financially, or do you have strong connections to a particular community? Are you the first person in your family to attend college? If so, there are scholarships you may qualify for. Where do you start looking for scholarships? A great tool is actually something you use every day, Google. Each year, Google publishes their top 20 legitimate weird scholarships. You would be amazed at how many scholarships are out there that are not linked to academic major. There's a Barbie scholarship, scholarships for redheads, lefties, short and tall people. Google is a great place to start searching for scholarships based on personal interests. A thorough scholarship search is just like a job and both end up putting money in your pocket. Think about it this way. You might spend 10 hours completing scholarship applications. If you're awarded a $1,000 scholarship, that's the same as earning $100 an hour. Another great place to search for scholarships is to look in your own community. Many small philanthropic organizations don't use the web to advertise their scholarships. This information is often mailed to the high schools and colleges. They may even have a list of local competitions where fewer people enter, making it easier to win. If your high school doesn't have a listing, check out others in the area. Local providers of scholarships are generally looking to invest in their community and your, your potential could be a great investment for them. Once you've exhausted your community resources, resources, then spread your search wider to state, regional, and finally the national scholarships. The local scholarships may be less, but the dollars add up quickly and the applicant pool is much smaller. The public library is also a great resource for scholarship information. They usually have books with comprehensive scholarships, listing application due dates, and the years in which they are offered. You can also buy the books, but it's best to look them up at the library due to the information becomes outdated quickly. Often when you fill up the FAFSA, you will automatically be considered for grants and scholarships through the financial aid office. Check out financial aid and other areas of student services to see if they have additional listings as well. Students who are strongly committed to a particular major may also find there are scholarships available specific to their area of study. The competition for scholarships can be a tense, especially for the big money. However, diligence and perseverance pays off. It is important to get organized before applying for scholarships. First, create a scholarship email address one that you can check frequently throughout the week. Develop a plan to search and apply for scholarships. Track the scholarships for which you've already applied for so you do not apply again. Be aware of the application deadlines and allow plenty of time to obtain additional information. Finally, verify if the deadline provided is the postmarked or received by date. Let's review some scholarship tips. 
start the scholarship search process sooner rather than later. If you're debating on when to start applying, the time is now. You can apply for scholarships you qualify for as early as you'd like, as the rule of thumb is always, the earlier, the better. Apply for scholarships in different categories. Don't limit yourself to one type of scholarship. Balance it out, applying for any merit, athletic, and artistic scholarships you qualify for. Include letters of recommendation. A good letter of recommendation can make all the difference in your scholarship application. Make sure that the letters you include are relevant and that you are confident in the person writing the letter for you. Also, give the person writing the letter significant time and a copy of your student resume so they can easily reference your student activities. Finally, don't forget to thank them. Small amounts add up. Some students only apply for scholarships with significantly large award amounts. The problem with this methodology is that you're going to have a lot more competition than with lower scholarship amounts. Whatever you can do to decrease your competition will be in your favor. So applying for all award amounts is a good way to ensure that you have a better chance at winning. Don't become discouraged if you don't win right away. Unfortunately, it's difficult at times to win a scholarship, and not everyone is guaranteed to win one. It's vital that you never give up applying for scholarships, because then you're never guaranteed to win one. Don't avoid scholarships that require essays. Essays do take more effort, but once you have several essay applications under your belt, the process gets easier as you can recycle essays for future scholarship applications. Here are a list of legitimate scholarship sites. These are also listed in your Opportunities booklet on page 21. Of course, the most popular way of searching for scholarships is via the internet. To search for scholarships, you can go to one of the many free sites and fill out a profile where they will ask you information about yourself. This information will be used to match you with scholarships. Note that when you get an email from the scholarship provider, it means that you likely qualify for the scholarship, not that you have won the scholarship yet. You should definitely verify that you meet the qualifications and that it's a legitimate offering. If you attend a high school in California, Connecticut, Tennessee, Oregon, or Virginia, please visit collegenights.org and click on College Nights Materials to view state-specific scholarship information. Beware scam mailings and emails often sound and look official. Scammers who try to get you to fall for their tricks are very good at making their communications look professional and patriotic. It's estimated that Americans lose thousands, if not millions, each year as a part of these scams. Remember the following warning signs that might help you identify a scam. You're guaranteed to win or your money back. You can't get this information anywhere else. Give us your credit card number to get started. The scholarship will cost some money. We will apply on your behalf. If you win, you will be notified via mail rather than telephone. Again, you'll wanna make sure any mail you get is the real thing rather than a scam. If you're feeling high pressure to buy a scholarship search, walk away, it's a scam. Some scanners will say they are endorsed by other legitimate organizations, even when that is not true. They may also claim endorsements from fictional organizations with names that sound trustworthy. Beware if there is a fee. Free money should not cost money. Beware if the organization has no valid contact information. And finally, beware if they request your personal bank account information. Scholarship checks are usually sent to your school on your behalf, 
not to your personal bank account. When you win a scholarship, you'll typically receive a congratulations letter. Keep this and feel the joy. You may also need to provide follow-up information, such as transcripts, once you're enrolled in college. You will want to fulfill any other obligations that the scholarship requires. The scholarship check is usually sent to your college. If it is sent directly to you, make a copy for the financial aid office, as it is very important the school knows that you are receiving these funds. Also, don't forget to send a thank you note. For those students interested in a chance to win a $1,000 scholarship, please log into the website on the screen and complete the short application now. Only students who attend a high school with 50% or greater free and reduced lunch eligibility are eligible to win the scholarship. Thank you for attending this College Nights presentation.